In this video, I want to show you how you can publish websites and integrate your contents from Airtable in a nicely looking way. In order to do that, we will use a service from Google called Google Sites. Simply go to sites.google.com and you should see a page something like this. And here you can easily create web pages, which is a pretty cool functionality, no matter if you want to connect it with Airtable or not. So we click the plus button here and we will create a new web page. As soon as you click the button, you will get a preview of your web page here. And it's pretty easy to configure that web page. For example, we could start up here and change the image, for example, that one. And now I can add my page title. So in this case, we will do a product catalog. Okay, now we already have our basic web page here ready. But at the moment, it only contains a title and some empty space down here. But what we want to do in this case is that we want to integrate our products from our Airtable base. So if I go over to Airtable and go here to the products, what I want to integrate is all of the products here. But not in the chart view, but in the nicely looking gallery view this one here. And I'll still have the filter applied because I only want to show the pictures that are in stock in my table. So in order to integrate this view into my Google site, I will need to go here to share. And let's make sure that we already checked the button that it's not possible for viewers to copy data out of this view because we don't want the visitors of our web page to be able to do that. And also really make sure that this field isn't checked then your customers would be able to see everything of your record. For example, production costs or something for your product. If you're sure that everything is configured in the correct way here, simply click embed this view on your site and it will load a second. And then you will already get a preview here how Airtable will display this data. And you can see Airtable will display it also in a mobile view in a nice looking way. And you can decide if you want to give your customers the ability to filter and sort data by themselves. In the product catalog, we don't want to do that, I think. So we will uncheck that and you see now the options that were here before, they are removed. You can always turn it back on, see here, and then your customers could also sort themselves. And at the same time, when I toggle it off, you will notice how the code changes. Okay, so now it's off. What we need to do next is to take this code and there's no need to understand what's written here. Just copy it and go back to your Google site. Now what we want to do is we want to embed this code. So we'll simply hit embed and don't go by URL, but by embed code here and paste your content. We just copied from Airtable in here. All right, it takes a second to load and you will already see that you get your contents from Airtable here. So simply click insert and we can make this a little bit bigger. All right, and that's it basically. That's how fast you can create a website with Airtable and Google. So we can make our product catalog a little bit bigger, like so, and can be already published. So you could go here to publish and you could enter a custom URL or simply add a sites.google.com view slash da 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 URL that you could also use. If you just want to use it for your company, for example, that's probably fine. And if you want to give it to a broad audience, then you can also hook up your own domain there. Okay, let's check it out how it looks in preview mode. So I'll go here and I can see our product catalog already looks really nice. And we have all our pictures that are in stock here and we can view them here on the website. And if a customer wants to see something in detail, he can just open it up and he will have all the data about the product here. All right, that's it. And that's how easily you can create web pages with your contents from Airtable.